Hey, so as you can see, what I'm doing today is actually a continuation from the previous video that we still have on the board. Fortunately, I didn't erase this. What we did in the previous video is we looked at this general form of an integral of cosine of the n and just integrating this from a to b. And this here was a very general case. What I wanted to do today was look at a more specific case, which is the Wallace integral. One thing I always forget is there's supposed to be an apostrophe after the s, even though I like to call it the Wallace integral. I don't know. But anyway, I've made some changes here to what we're looking for. So the biggest change in the previous video, we were just integrating from a generic A to B, which we defined to be every 90 degrees or every pi over two. And now we've fixed our bounds. We're integrating from zero to pi over two. And the other thing we see is in the previous video, notice we had different formulas for sine and cosine. This over here on the left was our cosine formulas. And this here was for sine. Now, in this case, by saying these are equal, we're not gonna need two sets of formulas. We're gonna be able to have just one set of formulas that's gonna cover both cases. And it would be easy to show that these are equal just by doing a substitution like u equal to pi over two minus x, like King's principle, and then what happens is the cosine turns to the sine or the sine turns to cosine. So anyway, in this video, what I wanna do is really just update these formulas for this specific case. So now we know our a and b values here in these formulas. So our b we're saying is just gonna be pi over two and our a value is gonna be just zero. So here where we have b minus a, this is just gonna become pi over two minus zero, or I can write this in as just pi over two. And of course, this is gonna be the exact same thing. And again, we don't even need sine formula, so I'm just gonna get rid of this one for now. We're not gonna worry about that. So this formula right here is gonna cover us for the even case when our n is even, cosine or sine, we can just use this formula with the double factorial to calculate our result. At the end of the video, we'll do a couple of quick examples. And then next we'll look at our odd case. When n is odd, we can use these formulas that we already did in the previous video. Now we can just take this here. We know our b and a values. So this is gonna become sine of b, which is pi over two, minus sine of a, which is gonna be, so this is gonna be sine of zero. Sine of zero is just zero. So sine of pi over two is just one. So we have one minus zero, or just one. Now let's just do the exact same thing for our odd case for sine, even though we know they're gonna be the same thing. They should be the same thing, right, if this is gonna work. But let's just do it just to see that it works. So we're gonna have here cosine of a, so this is gonna be cosine of zero minus cosine of b, which is gonna be pi over two. Cosine of zero is just one, minus cosine of pi over two is zero. And so again, this is just one. So I'm gonna write this in here. But again, this is the exact same thing, so we don't even need this separate set of values. So let's just erase this now that we know that this works. Okay, so now we'll just look at a few common values for this, and then we can calculate a few out just to see how it works. Okay, now we have our table over here to the right just for some small n values. Now, of course, you may get a problem like we did recently, which was like cosine of 2023. So like if your n is a large value, you might just leave it in terms of the double factorial, or there's other formulas where you can convert that into like a regular factorial. So let's just say we had that. Let's just say we were looking for like cosine of 2023, right? So our i of 2023, could be, again, it can be cosine or sine, but we just have to be integrating from zero to pi over two. Now 2023 is odd, so we would just use this formula down here. So this would be 2022 double factorial over 2023 double factorial. And of course, multiplying this out would be a nightmare, but we could leave it in this form, or we have some other formulas to express this in different ways. Okay, so before we end this video, I think I'm just gonna look at these last two values here for our i of four and i of five. So let's just look at i of four. So we're saying an integral where our exponent's gonna be four, we'll use this even case. So we're gonna end up with three double factorial over four double factorial times pi over two. Three double factorial is just gonna be three times one. Four double factorial is gonna be four times two. We'll have our pi over two. Just multiplying this thing out, we're gonna have three pi. Multiplying out the denominator, that's gonna give us 16, and that's gonna be that value right there. And then let's just look at what happens when n is five. So we're looking for i of five, where our exponent's gonna be five here, here. So for this five's odds, we'll use this formula down here. So this is just gonna be the same thing has four double factorial over five double factorial. That's gonna be four times two. Five double factorial is gonna be five times three times one, but this is gonna just be eight over 15. So that's it, just a quick look at Wallace's integrals, kind of a subset of what we did in the previous video. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching, have a great day.